Good morning, Mavu High Squad. How are you? Did you sleep well? Mm -hmm. I just woke up really early and ran a 10K. It's a beautiful day. Look, 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 look. See that? Same day edits, same day edits. But guys, when I checked our table, it seems something has come. A wonderful gift that I know you guys will love. Mavu High Squad. Check out what just came. Hey guys, welcome to my daily vlogs. Please subscribe. Gifts from Tita Sonia. Yes, guys, look at this stuff. So for those of you who are new, Tita Sonia is this wonderful, wonderful lady who runs and owns a place called Sonia's Garden. And we recently took a masterclass there where we were there for a few days and we learned about organic living, bed and breakfast, all of this amazing, amazing stuff. And guys, she sent us gifts, like out of nowhere for no reason. She's so nice. Oh, so look, we have here some serpentina herbs. Do you guys know serpentina? We sometimes use it for when you have upset stomach. Um, it's very bitter, but it can be used for a whole bunch of other things like um, pain and other things like that. We have here, look at this fruit. This fruit here looks like an alligator. Looks like an alligator skin. This is guyabano, guys. Oh, so good. We're gonna eat that later. This here is tarragon, flowering tarragon another herb love this Ooh, passion fruit have you guys ever seen a passion fruit this is what it looks like in Canada we have this thing called passion flaky <laughs> I used to love eating passion flakies comes from these things passion fruit I can't wait to eat that as well and guys the delicious salad that they would serve at Sonia's garden she gave us some guys see all the flowers the impatience the edible flowers and then here this leaf lettuce one of the healthiest lettuces oh so good love that thank you so much tita sonia honestly so so kind oh and guys here you guys know what this is this here is balot yes it looks like an ordinary egg but it's actually a duck egg and inside is a cooked fetus of a duck so it's boiled a few days before like hatching i know it sounds cruel but it's a philippine delicacy and it's delicious we'll eat that later as well thank you so much tita Sonia. Oh my! RJ is now arranging the salads. <laughs> oh, I really miss no, Sonia's cheese. garden now. Ooh, goat cheese? Mm. I can't wait to try the fruits too, guys. Stay tuned, we're gonna eat this. OMG guys, what a treat, right? By the way, if you're new to the vlogs, welcome to the channel. My name is Mikey Bustos. RJ Garcia is here. Be sure to hit the like button if you enjoyed this vlog and hit the subscribe button. Join the Mabuhai squad. We will be your daily dose of positive vibes online. Okay guys, let's eat this delicious salad. Can add a little bit of Caesar? Classic Caesar, yes. Mm. Oh my goodness, do you guys eat healthy? I love eating healthy. I also love eating unhealthy though. <laughs> Gotta be honest. Guys, let's try that. Mm. Mm -mm -mm. Oh my gosh, mm. how I miss the Tito Sonia diet. All garden grown. Okay guys, look at Goyabano right now. Mm. Is, this is growing also in our Iloilo farm, right? Mm -hmm. I really hope we can grow mm, Goyabano good. at the Mabu High Squad farm. It's considered a superfood. Even the leaves. The yogurt that I was eating today comes with... Oh yeah, Goyabano. RJ had... Fresh Goyabano. It's my favorite now. Goyabano yogurt. Okay, so this is what it looks like. In terms of taste, it's tart. It's like a green apple, but, but also very sweet, like Jolly Rancher. So that's the best way I could describe it. Am I right guys? Like for some reason there's something very apple-ish about the taste But the texture is not like an apple. It's like slimy and fleshy. Okay, let's eat this. Okay guys I'm gonna put on some gloves. I don't want to get too sticky. Okay, so guys. Oh It's so slimy and fleshy. Okay, so here it is. You see that there's a black seed You see that that you don't need eat not Oop. All right, and then this white stuff you you do eat it peels off. It just comes off that skin see like that Mmm, mmm, mmm. Oh my gosh, mmm. Okay guys, and it like melts in your mouth. Okay, see look, see, see how it's so fibrous? It's very fibrous, see that? And it literally melts in your mouth, like kind of like how cotton candy melts in your mouth. Somehow it just disappears and turns into like a, a mush. It's very pillowy. 
Mm -hmm. It so tastes like green apple. Green apple Jolly Rancher. Mm -hmm. Oh my gosh. Mm. It is so good. Very tart. Sour candy, guys, but like naturally. Mm. And the consistency, like the texture of it, is what makes it unique. Like, look at that. Look at this. See it? It looks dry, but trust me, it's not dry. It, al it almost looks like, like cheese. Sort of, like Parmesan cheese, it's not. It's a very slimy fruit, which is why I'm wearing gloves. And it's it's very fibrous, sort of. Kind of like a pineapple, but softer. Like if I were to squeeze this, it would turn into a lot of juice. And again, very pillowy, very like cottony, like wet cotton. That's what it is. It feels like wet cotton that melts in your mouth. Mmm, 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 mmm. Think of the sweetest green apple you've ever tasted and like very tart and soft, not like crunchy or gritty like an apple, but soft. That's what this is like. Mm. RJ says that even if he has a fever, he can eat this fruit. It's so good, guys. Guys, can't get enough of this fruit. It's been a long time since I've had guyabano. They also make the leaves into tea. It makes a good tea. Mm. Tons of antioxidants, guys. Mm. Do any of you guys like Guyabano? Have you had it? It is the most tasty, delicious, super tart, but so sweet fruit ever. Mmm. Oh, that middle core part does not have any flavor. And in fact, it tastes more like a potato. Oh my gosh. Seriously, I'm gonna make a Guyabano shake later. It is so, so, so good. I just finished like a quarter of the fruit. Mmm. Guys, what's your favorite fruit? You know, as much as I'm loving this guyabana right now, so good. There are fruits that I'd never tasted growing up in Canada that I've tasted here that are like some of the best fruits I've ever had in my life. Have you guys heard of arachilis? OMG, the best. I don't know why people are not making pies out of this stuff, ice creams, juices. Aratelis is so delicious. And I learned that local Filipinos, it's like just an ordinary fruit. Like, no big deal. It just, just kind of grows around. If you ask people what their favorite fruit is, they wouldn't say aratelis. But OMG, it's my favorite fruit. Have any of you guys tried aratelis? It tastes like very sweet, no tart. It's a, It looks like a berry, but it just, it's pure sweetness, like sugar, like... Have you guys had a ripe persimmons? It tastes like that. Oh, it's so good and it's red and juicy and so delicious. If I manage to turn Aratilis into like an export, it'll be the next cranberry. Guys, we'll be rich. Mm, the undiscovered Aratilis. <laughs> guys, Heinz is here too. Hello. Yes, working on Ants Canada. We're all like enjoying this fruit. <laughs> Do you enjoy Goyabano? What's Sweet and sour. Sweet and sour. What's your favorite Filipino fruit? Long gun. Isn't that a Filipino fruit? Long gun, yeah. <laughs> See, everybody likes long gun. Even my mom, like she, when she lands here, she's like, I want long gun. It Does it grow in your province? I don't know. Maybe in the northern part of the Philippines or mm -hmm. the Guys, northern area. Heinz is from Isabella. Yes. It's close to my mom's province too, to get it out. All you Cagayanos represent in the comments. <laughs> <laughs> okay guys, so let's try eating this passion fruit now. This I don't need gloves for. I've, I've eaten this before. Okay, Heinz knows how to cut it. Apparently you just make a slight cut. Okay, and then... Oh, you split it. Oh, okay. Mmm. Oh my, it looks so alien. Oh my gosh. Guys, look. It's the sour one. It's sour? Yeah. Okay. Kind. Apparently there's a sweet kind and there's a sour kind. Okay, I'm gonna try this. Okay, guys. His reaction surprised me. Okay, but usually passion fruit is sweet, like a passion flaky, right? You Canadians who've had passion flaky. Okay, but he says this is sour, so Filipinos would typically eat this with salt. They would sprinkle salt on it. Very Filipino. Oh my, it's so juicy. Like, look at this. See that, guys? It's a weird looking fruit and like, it's a bunch of flesh, yellow flesh, surrounded by seeds. Can you eat the seeds? Yes, sir. You have to eat the seeds, but they're like crunchy from what I remember. Okay, let's... Mmm. Mmm. <laughs> oh my gosh. Mmm. Okay, wait, wait. It almost tastes fermented. Yes. Don't you find? It tastes like wine. Oh my gosh. This tastes like wine, guys. RJ needs to try this. RJ, try this. It tastes like wine. 
Mmm, okay. What does this remind me of? There's a certain taste. Okay, it tastes like not so sweet, not so sour grape, but like almost fermented, like a wine, like almost like it's starting to turn into wine. Oh my gosh, okay, I was expecting something crazy, crazy sour, but it's not that sour. And it's actually quite unique and tasty. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Okay. It definitely tastes like less sweet, less sour grapes. Like there's something grapeish about it for me. And slightly like fermented. It's got this sort of fermented wine-ish, like, almost like a cooler, if you guys know what that tastes like. It, it's really like I wonder if this is alcoholic. Is that why they call it a passion fruit? Because people would eat it and get drunk and then like Mmm. Mmm. Wow. What a unique fruit. Unbelievable, right guys? Passion fruit. <laughs> Good morning, guys. It is now 6 a.m. Is it 6 a.m.? What time is it? Yes, 6 a.m. I was up at 4.30. Um, and I'm gonna run because I gotta be awake and invigorated because at 9 a.m. this morning, I have to jump into a suit. <laughs> Why? Because it's the 10th annual Streamies, guys. OMG, the Streamies are here. And Ant Canada is nominated for two categories. <laughs> so it'll be streamed. Um, if this pandemic did not happen, you know, the Streamies were live like they always are. RJ and I would have been in LA right now <laughs> attending this event. But um, because of the pandemic, it's all virtual, which is a great choice. So OMG, uh, just gonna try to run and run and run, maybe a five or 10K. and. And, um, shake out my nerves and get into a suit. Look at how beautiful it is right now for sunrise. Gorgeous. Just gorgeous out there. All right, gonna put on my running shoes and head out. All right, guys, but let's see what our positive affirmation of the day is for Sunday, December the 13th. I am unlimited in my wealth. Love, laughter, and luxuries are all mine. Ooh, love that. Three L's. You see that? Love, laughter, and luxuries are all mine. Hope you guys enjoy today's positive affirmation. All right guys, just got back in, ran a 10K. It feels great, I've showered. Gotta dry off though. Um, gonna have some coffee and then gonna get dressed. Mabuhai squad, it is Streamy's day. 